loving the hair. Yeah, I, uh, I just got back from Oz and it's kind of working with the tan. I'm wondering what's, I might need some top ups on the tan to keep right. it looking good. Okay, because for you, obviously you're married to a lovely Australian lady. Yep. And do you dot backwards and forwards? I, I have been for the last three months. We've been coming back to finish off all the new tunes and promote the new single. And obviously to you, but um, you obviously. can't, I've flown back and forth from Australia. I've done that 24 hour flight six times in the last wow. three months. Do you quite like that flight though? Cause nobody can get you. I quite like, yeah, you, you, no one can access nobody you. It's like the you. only time. And because I, I leave the missus in the kit and the kids in Oz. Right, so, uh, so you can watch movies that you've not been able to yeah, see. Yeah, so you catch up on all the movies, just yeah. watch like the whole of Black Mirror or something. Fabulous, can't really watch that with wee ones. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's not, it's not a good it's, idea. It's actually the, you know, cause kid, two kids is so tiring. Yeah. That um, Although, the, the flight is actually the time off. Yeah, of course. Although so you credit your kids with really giving you a new lease of life with your music as well. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't had a hit since like 2014. And it isn't all about hits, but the hits no. were nice, don't get me wrong. Of course, of course. And in the last four years, even though I've been gigging loads, I've still been doing like, you know, 50, 80 gigs a year. Um, people think I'm semi-retired and I sort of, <laughs> I got married and, uh, and I found it really hard to write after that because all my songs have been about breakups or depression. And then, or, and then you're really happy. Yeah, but, or, but you know, too much partying. And then, you, and then you find the woman of your dreams and then have kids. And then it's trying to, how do I channel that right. into everyone? I don't know what people think about me, but a lot of people are like, oh, example, yeah, he was always a bit of a geezer. He was a bad boy. He was a bit cheeky, you know. <laughs> and then when you're trying to put a bit of that edge in the songs, but you're just the happiest you've ever been and it's you've got difficult. everything you need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're on the beach in Australia and trying to, relate that to a, a dirty rave in East London. <laughs> quite, quite difficult. Di quite difficult. Quite a stretch, but I would think. But somehow, out of having uh, the, new, the new Baba, uh, little Enyo, who's six months now, in the month after he was born, last September, I was in the studio every day. Right. And it's the first time I actually have a studio just around the corner from me. And that sort of, everyone who's had kids will know, that dreamlike state you're in for the first month, it's, uh, you know, you're just like this all yeah, the time. you've got right? no sleep. Yeah, you're not asleep. And it, and it feels like jet lag or it feels like leaving Ibiza. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I just came up with these amazing ideas. It's fantastic. Now, look, you, you said you're really happy, everything's great, but you have been through something that a lot of people don't talk about, which yeah. is when your, your wife miscarried, which yeah. is horrific. I mean, I've been through it myself and it's awful. But what I found was, while everybody was saying how sorry they were for me, my husband, yeah. nobody. What about the guys? Him. And you must have found that too. It, it does tend to happen. I think we're getting a little bit better now at that. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's, uh, it's it's that age old, you know, almost old fashioned ideal that men should be tougher and not show their emotions. And it's the same thing that leads us down the path with, uh, you know, male depression, which leads to male suicide. And obviously the male suicide rates are way higher. Terrible. And out of all my friendship group, I was the first one to have kids. Right. And then I didn't really know how to deal with it. I didn't really know how to talk about it. And no one in my family had, had, had lost one. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, you just realise it's just about opening up. And you, but all you want to do is put all your time and effort into your, your missus. Of course. And how she, how she. And then and obviously she's even forgetting to ask how I am in a way because you she's in such a zone and she's dealing with it physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm, I haven't got the physical side. Yeah. And it really is just about you know, speaking to everybody about it. And, you know, some of my close friends have lost two, three babies. It's so common. No, exactly. And, it, and it's something that you both go through together. Exactly. can often bring you closer together. And whether the babies. couple's together or not, yeah. you know, and you're dealing with that baby, it's still That's important hard. to reach out for one another. Because you're a real hands-on dad, aren't you? Yeah, we, yeah. you know, we don't have any help at home. We don't have nannies and, and babysitters. When we're in London, we, all our family live in Australia. Even my mum and dad moved there 10 wow. years ago to get away from me. And, <laughs> I um, did yeah, uh, we, yeah, it's, it's really tough. And, and we don't really get much quality time together as a couple sure. at, at the moment. But you but, will. But, but you we will. These, these and and, and, and it's the, it is a really, it's a circus, especially flying back on a 24 hour flight with a three year old and a, a six month I old. I you. We had a week, a week oh. of the craziest jet lag uh, where like one kid was waking up, we put him to bed at six, one kid was waking up at 11 p.m. And the other one's waking up at 2 a.m. Oh geez. And I'm sort of meeting my wife in the hallway, <laughs> like a flatmate, uh, how are we? <laughs> um, but everyone's oh, gonna be like, yeah. And the answer is out now? The answer is out now, and there's, uh, I'm very excited, the next few singles are about to come as well, even bigger. Fantastic.